Hey, this is Johnny Colon, and welcome to Master Craftsman. Today we're throwing up the steel on a two-story building. Watch us. Buildings are ubiquitous. They're everywhere. We walk in and out of them all day, yet rarely realizing what goes into constructing one. Each building is like a mini city. There's water, sanitation, electrical, heat, air conditioning. It protects us from all the elements. We hang out inside of them, whether there's a heat wave or a snowstorm. It's so impressive, it boggles the mind. So now let's take a look and see how this happens. The first thing to realize is that there are master craftsmen behind these modern miracles. Men and women who make sure we have these comforts and that these buildings don't collapse on our heads. The expert crew that fabricated and is erecting the steel on this job is from MSJ Steel. This will be an upscale French bakery and restaurant. We arrived at a critical part of the process. Erecting the steel that frames the building that houses all these modern conveniences we take for granted. Erecting the steel requires several specialized trades. They're crane operators, grips, and steel workers. Each trade plays a crucial role and relies on one another to do so. Just like a rock band, the drum, bass, and guitarist must play together. Tons of steel form the frame of a modern building. Today we explore what it takes to make this happen. A single beam can weigh more than a large car. It would take superhuman, superhero strength to move just one, let alone the dozens needed for a building like this. The crane and crane operators make this happen. A modern crane allows the operator to move thousands of tons using just their fingertips. A remote like this controls every function of the crane with precision, but he can't do it alone. Safety being paramount, he has a spotter to make sure everyone is out of harm's way. One challenge on this particular job is the existing overhead wires. These high voltage electrical lines must be avoided at all costs. The spotter makes sure that the crane and beams never come closer than 10 feet to these wires. He also makes sure no one ever stands directly under anything being moved. In the event of a mishap, it would be a disaster. The steel beams arrived on the site from MSJ Steel, prefabricated and cut to length with all holes drilled. This is done according to the architect's plans, and every piece is marked as to exactly where it belongs in the structure. This is Mandy Kundarakis, president of MSJ Steel. Manny, your company fabricated the steel before it was delivered to the site. Tell me the process of steel fabrication. Once we get the pricing, we order the steel, bring it to our shop, start fabricating it as per uh, up the approved shop drawings from the engineer. Now what does that mean, fabrication? Fabrication means drilling it, welding it, cutting it to size, and doing, taking all the precautionary measurements to uh, install it on, uh, on site. I see you have a team of workers here and each worker has a special job. Tell me what their jobs are and what their roles entail. Uh, one of my uh, guys has a main responsibility of making sure that each uh, steel goes at the position it's supposed to go. For instance, uh, on this job, there must have been over 100 pieces of steel. Each specific steel has a number, which my uh, shop drawing detailer made sure I uh, installed it in its specific position that it was intended to do by the engineer. So I have a guy making sure that the column is installed in its right uh, position, meaning east, west, north, south. Mm. Because if a column is installed in, in a wrong position, it might have to be removed and reinstalled again. One guy has a responsibility of tightening the bolts. Another guy has a responsibility of uh, making sure the column is level and, and so forth. So making sure that each steel member is, is done according to the uh, drawings are very, very important. This building is being set atop an existing foundation modified to accept the new steel. Upright beams are lowered into studs embedded in the concrete that will hold them in place. Cross beams and floor joists are lowered into their proper location using the crane. The process is repeated as workers help guide each segment to its correct position. For now, most beams are only loosely fitted and will be securely tightened later in the process once all the pieces have been assembled. Only certain key pieces of the structure are securely fastened at this point. If they tightened everything to final strength now, they would never be able to fit it all together. Despite tight tolerances, they will still be pushing and pulling involved. Workers need some looseness and flexibility so that everything can be properly lined up as each piece is introduced. 
All parts are moved slowly and with great care to assure safety on the site. We're back here at the bakery construction site here in New York. As you can see, most of the steel work is up and in place, but it's still loose. They have to make sure that everything is right angled and leveled before they bolt it and weld it down. As we pointed out on our last visit, the steel framing beams were put in place but not completely tightened. This allowed some wiggle room when placing other components in the frame. Now that they're pretty much all in place, it's time to start checking that everything is level and at right angles. This is the skeleton of our building. And if it's not straight, nothing inside will be either. This isn't just for aesthetics. It affects function as well as form. You can see at this stage that they have placed the metal decking for the first floor and left the opening for an elevator shaft. Imagine trying to run an elevator if the shaft was not perfectly square, straight, and level. It just wouldn't work. That's why workers check every component in the frame before fully tightening the bolts and doing any welding that will permanently fix them in place. Once this is done, the building will be ready for installation of all other features. We'll see more on that next visit. Since we were here last time, they made a lot of progress. They poured the slab of concrete on top of the metal decking that they made to complete the first floor. On our last visit, we pointed out there was an elevator shaft in place, but they also left an opening for a stairway that'll lead down to the basement. We also see that they welded an extension for an awning. A nice little functional and decorative feature for when the building is complete. Also, the steel frame has been leveled and firmly secured so that the whole building is at right angles. Note the use of a string line level. This is a common technique used in construction to keep all elements of the building square. In this case, it is being used to make it easier for the workers to quickly install the awning hardware while still keeping it perfectly level and square as per building specifications. Now, they're proceeding to install the metal decking on the second floor. MSJ Steel has used the efforts of man and machine, and the steel frame of our building is almost complete. Once this part of the project is done, the crew can move on to the next phases of construction. It's really cold out here, but the workers are still at it. After weeks of work at our job site, all of the steel framing for this building is completed. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. The steel structure took about three to four weeks to complete. As you witnessed, this was no small feat. First, many tons of measured and cut steel was fabricated from the architect's plan and delivered to the site. It took superhuman strength to lift those beams, some as heavy as a car. Luckily, they had a crane operator to help. Each fabricated piece needed to be set into its own unique location in the frame of the building. Every beam had a specific spot and the whole structure had to be assembled exactly according to plan. During each step in the process, there were trained craftsmen who executed their jobs with precision. Each step had to be completed perfectly before the next step could take place. It's like an elaborate three-dimensional puzzle. The result is a solid steel frame that will support an amazing building that houses all of the systems that make this a true modern miracle. Next, the crew will get to work, putting in the walls, the electricity, the heating and air conditioning system, the plumbing, the elevator, the lighting, and the electronic controls and monitoring system that run it all. This building will house a complex array of modern technologies working together, but it's all held together by the steel, the skeleton of its body that makes it all possible. We've seen a variety of skills that workers needed to complete the first part of this job. Join us for future episodes where we'll see even more skilled tradespeople use their expertise to finish the amazing projects. I'm Johnny Colon, and I'll see you next time on Master Craftsman. Until then, let's keep building.